in like in um, downtown Portland, you guys, it's gonna take you guys a little bit longer to get there. Do an hour there, and and then eat where you're at. And you guys, we're at fairs today. So we're going downtown. Uh, I'm not sure where they're going yet. Whatever you want to yeah. do. Oh, it's the good deal right there. <laughs> Word. Win some souls and get people healed, delivered, and loved. Come on. Come on. But we, we found these one people on the street corner. Where was that at? I was uh, just right by the match station. So. Yeah. And they, I mean, most of them were like trying to raise money to travel or whatever, but got some cool prophecies for them. And they were real open. It was, it was cool. But oh, while we were talking to these ones, they were selling like homemade jewelry and stuff. And we were prophesying over them. And it was really cool. And they were super open. And for this one lady, walked up to us and and she well she walked up to them and she's like hey are you guys homeless because i'm homeless as of last night can i hang out with you and then she's like started saying how she's scared and she just needs to be with somebody and that was pretty crazy it was crazy that that happened when we were there and so we got to pray over her and, and prophesy hope over her and stuff but he, he had more of an encounter with her later that i was unaware of yeah. so um well, basically, we hung out with him, and then I noticed one of the guys was actually a believer that was hanging out there. So, you want me to say what I just said? Say what you just said. So, uh, I, was, I was an alcoholic from the age of 10 until about 19, and I woke up in a hospital with two holes in my liver, and that's when I realized that, like, God was trying to show me pretty much that I needed to quit drinking and get my stuff together. And uh, I ended up slowly quitting the drink. It's been about three years now, and I don't shake anymore. It's pretty awesome. Well, you still got holes in your liver? No. I, that's I ate that? organic food and worked on a farm for like six months. Just like, that's what's treated up. treated my body a lot better. Praise the Lord. And I asked him to want to feel God's presence, and he said, sure. yeah. So I grabbed his hand and started just praying God's presence over him, and he just gets like rocked. You know? <laughs> I, w I want you to be brutally honest. I'm just going to pray for Holy Spirit to fill you with His presence. And I want you to be brutally honest. If you feel nothing, be like, dude, nothing, you know? If you feel something, let me know what's going on. So, just uh, Holy Spirit, fill Him with your presence right now. Let Him just feel your love because you love Him. Just thank you, God, for just tingling, going up His arm. Just fill him, fill his heart with your fire, fill him with your presence, God. Just thank you, God. The weight off his back, I thank you for a lifting. Just fill him, Holy Spirit, fill him. What's going on, man? I feel like, not like lightheaded, but you know, like... Like, things got like lighter. excited about something. Yeah, you know, more. More. I just thank you for a heat to fill his chest right now. Holy Spirit, thank you, God. You feel a heat? Like a pressure kind of Yeah, an angel, an angel just put his hand on your chest. That's what just happened. Nice. So, Holy Spirit, watch this more. Increase it, increase it, increase it. Fill him. And do you ever get pressure headaches, man? No? Okay, never mind then. Well, your mind, something's going to get really light in your mind. So, Lord, Holy Spirit, fill him, fill his head with lightness, with your glory, with your presence. A pressure just released, huh? Yeah, it's gone, right? Dude, that's crazy, right? Yeah, that's Jesus. Do you, do you want to feel that? Do you want to feel God's presence in a tangible way? No, you're cool. Well, I want you to know you're amazing. Jesus like loves you so much. <laughs> so what'd you feel, man? I just felt like I felt like the top of my head was like, you know, like, like almost like when your hair sticks up. Like, say you yeah. pick a balloon and like rub it against your hair, and they all staticky. That's kind of how it felt. Amen. I felt like from smoking, like the part of my lungs. It felt like all the flame was just like. Bleh. <laughs> Did he feel heat right there? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Almost started sweating. And then I asked the girl that came up and said she was just homeless as of last night, like if she wanted to experience that, and she said, yeah. So I prayed, and she just gets rocked by God's presence. <laughs> Do you want to feel that? You want to feel God's presence? Check this out. Holy Spirit, fill her right now. Hey, can, you, can you hold this? Do you hold this real quick? Holy Spirit, fill her right now. Jesus, 
I just thank you, Holy Spirit. And I just pray for an angel to give her a hug right now. The same angel that touched his chest. Give her a hug right now. Let her feel your love. You love her so much. There's nothing she's ever done that can separate you from her. You're not mad at her. She's precious to you. Holy Spirit, fill her. Fill her with that love, God. I just thank you, God, that you just fill her. I just thank you, God, for that tingling on her neck and her back, God. I just fill her, God. I just thank you. You love her, God. In Jesus' name. Feel that? Oh crap, my chest. <laughs> what just happened? Oh my god. Um, I just got really like into like safe shakes and then I felt warmth and then I warmth. felt like a collapse of like, not a bad collapse, it was like a calming feeling. Holy Spirit wow. is the presence, he's real. Really? <laughs> and he loves you and he's got favor over you in this situation. Just watch, watch what he does. Um, <laughs> She's, uh, so I start talking to her and then um, at this time I turned the camera off and just started ministering to her and like prophesying over her and she um, believed that God was mad at her and she was kind of like couldn't believe she grew up in a Baptist home like where she was just kind of a picture of God where he was just really angry and like all the mistakes she's made he can't, you know can't figure it out and uh, just had a conversation with her and like she was just in a lot of like just going through some stuff so I got to just counsel her and just tell her about Jesus and the gospel and um, it, it was really cool because she she accepted Jesus in her heart she got baptized in the spirit like just prayed for her to be filled with, yeah prayed for her to be filled with the spirit um, got her connected with a pastor who specializes in getting like at-risk girls off the street so so it was cool and, and yeah um, and one thing is one thing about her too is that I, I prophesied that God was going to bring reconciliation to her with her family, and she said, "She said if my family finds out that I'm homeless, they're going to hate me and they won't accept me." But then when he was praying with her, she, what'd she say about her family? Oh. Um, Did you say that she said that she wants to, she, she wants to go back yeah, to her family? She wants and, to like reconcile things with her family. She was just kind of like. Lost so that was cool too. So it was amazing and uh, we prophesied over everybody there just like around us just getting crazy deep prophetic words of uh, me and him just yeah. tag teaming. It was awesome. It was cool. Tag team's fun isn't it? Yeah. <laughs>